Kim, we're on Center Avenue in Friendship. This is where the protesters were earlier this evening, but further up in East Liberty. And for the most part, the night and the protests were peaceful. They came with common messages of stopping the intolerance and excessive use of force. Say his name, George Floyd! Say his name, George Floyd! In the diverse city neighborhood of East Liberty, all ages, all races came out walking, protesting, and calling for peace side by side. Day three of the protests here in Pittsburgh, and this is one of the largest crowds yet. Hundreds here calling out the name of George Floyd in a unified message for justice. I think we have an obligation to speak out at the, the horrible way that Black people are being, black and brown people are being treated in this country. Change got to come. I mean, it, this has been happening too long. You know, I've been stopped just for jogging. On North Highland Avenue, the large crowd stopped in front of Eastminster Presbyterian Church to sing freedom fighter songs from the civil rights movement as they remembered George Floyd. People have the right and deserve to be able to walk through their daily life without fear of violence or getting murdered out of nowhere whether that's by the police or anyone else. Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! The signs and messages were everywhere. The group crying out against the death of the man from Minneapolis who died while a police officer's knee pressed onto his neck. The raw emotions and upset were on the surface. I come up from a family of good police officers. I got brothers with fathers for cops. Understand that. There are good cops. We know that. We asking y'all good cops to push out the bad cops. Period. Hold them accountable. So much raw emotion tonight. Now George Floyd died one week ago today and his death has become a major social tipping point, not only here in Pittsburgh, but of course nationwide as well. We're live in friendship tonight. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.